honor to Pastor Davis in his absence and his cabinet. To Mother Houston in her absence and her entire cabinet. And to all of you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I stood before you today because I want to tell what God is doing for me. A few weeks ago, well, start at the beginning. April the 19th, I had a surgery, and this is my dialysis. I had a surgery on my throat to remove a parathyroid glands. So they took three of the four out. And actually, I literally started getting sicker than I was before. What had occurred was something called cephalitis. And I didn't know what it was. I didn't know anything about it except that it was excruciating painful. Every time I would go to dialysis, I would tell the nurses, they would just brush it off. They never paid attention to me. And this is while I was still in Joliet. So moving forward, I get here to Milwaukee June the 1st. I had my first treatment June the 4th. After that treatment, the pain was so severe. I felt like not needles, but nails were being driven in my thighs, my hips. And along with the nails was fire. And it would just jab me from the left to the right and it would just go on and on and on. And especially after my dialysis treatments. So I ended up going to the hospital and they kept me. They didn't focus on the cephalitis. They focused on why I had low blood pressure, and why I needed to be discharged with oxygen. So I get back to dialysis and I start talking to the dietitian and I explained to her what was going on because she came to me talking about those numbers. The numbers of the lab were still in the 3000s even after the surgery. So just to let you know, somebody listened to me. They began this IV treatment on me about a week or so later. I was in church, prayer was going on. Evangelist Frankie had brought the message that day. It was a lot of people up for prayer and I couldn't make it. I couldn't stand on my legs. So I sat over there and I cried because the pain was so intense. And evangelist Regina walked past me and I grabbed her by the hand. I said, please pray for me. I'm in so much pain, I can't make it. And she prayed hallelujah out of her soul. She prayed. And as I sat there, God loosened some of that pain. miracles and evangelist Frankie looked over there at me she said come here and I pointed to myself she said yeah you can come here God got a healer I took that hat off my head I said I'll be cute later I'm gonna go get my blessing and I came up here and three people touched me in the name of the Father hi ya ya Oh, 
bumpy areas are decreasing day by day. I give all the glory, all the honor, all the praise to Almighty God. And let me tell you something. I didn't even have sense enough to come up and ask for prayer. Because I told the Lord, I said, God, you sent your son. And son suffered for me when he didn't even do nothing wrong. So if this is what I have to go through to give me the strength to go through. And that you did. This thing could kill me. But God took me with this thing. He let me live with this thing. He let me survive for many people to not survive. I glorify you. I magnify you. I adore you. And I you don't have Watch and he's thinking. 